Yes. Better? Better, ma'am. Hello, ma'am. Hello, how are you, Vishal? I am good, ma'am. And what's about you? How are you? I'm doing pretty much well. Thanks for asking. So, how has your day been going? It's going smoothly. Till now, it's going in a good manner. And how is your life treating you? It's treating me well so far. <laughs> no complaint. Yes. Okay. So, would you like to introduce yourself for new viewers? Yes, ma'am. Why not? My name is Vishal Duhan. I come from Haryana and I'm 28 years old. I have done graduation and nowadays I am working in railway department. I have eight years experience here. My hobbies are watching movies, listening to songs, playing outdoor games. And recently I have started my YouTube channel. So I do conversation like this. I have been to your YouTube channel. You're doing absolutely good job and I have seen your some exercise photos as well. And so that's that Thank is really good. And I was listening to some of your conversation, conversational videos, and I got to know, yes, you are doing a good job. Now you are improving. And yes, this is a great. So let me introduce myself before we further dive into our conversation. Yes, so uh, as you know, my name is Hema. I was born and raised in India, Delhi. Basically, I am from Uttarakhand. But after getting married, I came to Australia. Therefore, I have been living in Australia for the last 16 years. My qualifications include a post-graduation degree in Hindi honors, which I had done from Ramjas College in Delhi. Uh, I am also holding a bachelor degree in education. Therefore, I've been working as a teacher in Australia. So by profession, I am a teacher. Besides, I have a channel on YouTube, which is called The Art of Speaking English. And that is all about me. Okay. You are quite popular on YouTube. Sorry? You are quite popular on YouTube. Really? I don't believe so because uh, I'm not really very consistent. Try to do sometimes, but uh, yes, it is very hard and my video qualities are not very good. And also, like, I don't really plan any content. Okay, I'm just going to do because I have lots of ideas, but, but I don't have time to implement those ideas so this is the problem i have been facing so far yes so how is my video going so far okay it's normal ma'am it's going normal okay <laughs> i'm just crossing my finger for this <laughs> no i will tell you if uh, i find any glitches so i will tell you yeah okay all right let me know if you have any question for today's session? Yesterday I studied tense. So I want to do practice with you. But it's up to you. If you have another topic, we will discuss another topic. No, we can do tense because it is a very good topic. Usually what learners think, they're thinking, why do we need to learn tense? Why we focus on grammar or tenses? Because there is no use for that. They find it useless and they are concentrating in other part of English uh, aspects like reading, listening, you know, writing, but they are not focusing on the main part. So that's it. This is the biggest problem for them. They have been facing, but they are not realizing the importance of grammar and tenses and their use. So I have seen learners, even though they are very good at English, not English, means like they are able to use um, idiom, phrasal words, and they are able to use advanced vocabulary, advanced word, but they are not able to form correct sentences due to lack of practice, or I would say lack of knowledge about uh, lack of knowledge of uh, grammar and tenses. So yes, if we can discuss about this, that would be great. We can share some ideas and you can practice with me because you've been already to tenses. Sometimes you're thinking, yes, I have proper knowledge and uh, I can do that. But when they do in practice, they find it very hard, even though they have knowledge. But when they form some tenses, after that they realize, oh, I have done mistake here. Yeah. <laughs> so this problem is happening. What do you think about that? Yeah, okay, ma'am. People make a mistake here. Yeah. People make wrong formation. They have confidence. They have knowledge of vocab, but mm -hmm. they are in basic areas. Tenses are backbone of the grammar, so they don't know basic. Yes, including us. 
<laughs> we will say they said they do that they do that what about they are not doing <laughs> correctly okay so yes that's all good you feel the same i am happy for that so let um, if you have any question feel free to ask if you want to form some sentences you can do that or if you want me i can give you some sentences you can change you can uh, do that one in english okay ma'am you can give me you can okay. give me if i go right sentence i will try to correct or change into another okay first of all i would like to know about the simple present tense what do you think about that what is the rule and why do we use that one what is why this is so important okay ma'am is present in that nature is related with present all things related our life is our routine universal truth and this some like we listen radio and tv so mostly newspaper headlines all are in present indefinite only okay. and for a student working person everyone have their daily work so all things including in present indefinite only yes okay. routine. you said really correctly that we use this stand for universal truth and also we use this uh, uh, stands for if you want to talk about our habit or daily routine like if you want to say i go uh, i go to the park every day yes so this is your habit this is your routine so you need to use simple uh, uh, present tense okay so if you um, because what happen i have seen learner they do mistake because they don't use proper as and es where they have to use it so there is a biggest um, even they do he she it but sometimes they forget to do with some other things if i tell you mera dimag aajkal kaam nahi karta hai nahi kar raha so how do you make this one would you like to just make this one in english okay my mind my mind okay does not work properly yes my mind doesn't work properly these days yes so this is good and uh, that is my my mind not me yes yes and sometimes we say um agar main bolu ki um dimag ka kaam hi hai aapko uh, 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 wo karna kya kya distract karna so how do you say this one in english okay it is the work of mind to distract you yeah so if you want to say mind wo, mind works to distract you this is his this is his work because usually what we say we say okay he she it we need to use as and es but sometimes when we uh, talk about normal noun we forget this is noun and we have to use as and es with that so this is the biggest problem we are suffering from it sometimes we when we have some kind of sentences where we use uh, noun except of uh, ram sham or any name or he and she or it uh, we use sometimes we talk about season even we talk about time we talk about mind we talk about something else but uh, yeah but then we forget to use s and es yes so that way we are not forming our sentence correctly so whenever you are forming any kind of sentence you to keep uh, in your mind okay i am making this sentence and am i using as and es with noun because they forget they are keep forgetting okay this is a noun as well if i'm talking about tv tv is also a noun yes right. i say my 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 tv doesn't work well and my tv my tv works really well works really well yeah so we need to use work but usually we don't use it because we it's in our mind okay if it's he she it name or that as only we do that but uh, with other things we have to use that uh, as es and does and do so we follow all these rules so this is we talk about simple and what about uh, present continuous i'm just showing continuity right now i am talking to you so in this moment i am doing this thing and sometime if we are doing something for a short time it's not a, our permanent routine but for sometimes i am following this routine like i am preparing for government examination nowadays so it's not my fixed routine nowadays i am preparing after one month two months later i will get my job or i will i will stop preparation yes so here you have done mistake so you said you are preparing for a government exam yeah you but 
we use present continuous tense. The time we speak, the activities we do. Sorry. Hello. You are physical, ma'am. Yes. You are not physical. Yes. So. Okay. Yes. Right now. Okay. All good. Okay. So I was telling here you have done mistake because you said that you have been preparing for an exam, a government exam. And uh, I think some messages is coming, so it's disturbing me. Yeah. So if we are preparing for something, okay, that's a different, I will tell you later. But at the time, what activity you are doing, you need to say only that uh, in con present continuous tense. Now, right now you say, I am speaking to you. Okay. I am watching TV. The action is happening the moment you are speaking. For that, you need to use present continuous tense. Okay, and you said that uh, I'm preparing for government exam, but at this moment you are not preparing, at this moment you are talking. So this is the biggest mistake we do. We need to, uh, sorry, this is the big, biggest mistake we make. <laughs> yes, so we need to say that um, right now, you, if you are talking about your exam, you, you're supposed to say that I have been preparing for a government exam. Yes, because you have been preparing, now you have started and still going on so this is this called present perfect continuous okay ma'am in okay. this case we mentioned the specific time that for three years since no no, since no no this is the biggest myth as well you need not to mention actually time it's not like you have to four you used to use four or since these days if i tell you i've been waiting for you but i'm not mentioning i'm waiting for four three hours or since morning it doesn't require if someone say if if some if i tell you i i am waiting for you it means right now i am waiting for you I'm over the phone i say vishal where are you you said we're going to have a session i am waiting for you means right now i am waiting for you but if i tell you vishal i have been waiting for you it means i'm waiting for you since long time for a long time, I'm there. I'm waiting for you. So if someone says, I have been waiting for you without telling you for and these days out of fashion, we don't really use it for and since. We do it if we want to mention specific of time. But if we don't want to mention any times, usually people say, I've been waiting for you. Where are you? Yes. OK. OK. My sentence was that uh, I am preparing for government examination nowadays. So it is correct or it is, it is not uh, correct. You need to say I have been preparing for a government exam. OK, but um, OK, because this is very beautiful. Here are many exceptions. After this conversation, at least I think you also can search it because I read read somewhere. No, listen to me because at this moment you are speaking with me now. So this is a present continuous tense is happening. We are presently at this moment. We are making a video. We are talking with each other. This is present continuous. This is present continuous. But if you have started something, yes, if you have started something and if you are doing this, but if it's written there, may, do you feel that that person is 100% correct? No, ma'am, no one is 100%. Here are some exceptions. The new name comes and they replace them. Someone wrote it, yeah. It doesn't mean it is correct if it's printed somewhere. Okay, so the, because you just see now, what is the rule? If present perfect continuous tense. If you have started something already and it still keep going on, so you use because at this moment you are not preparing. You are talking with me, but you have you say, uh, ma'am, these they have been preparing for a government exam. I have been preparing for a government exam. Means you have started and you will continue. Okay, ma'am. Move on next. Okay. This, is the, this is the right rule. If you really want to be specific for this tense, that's what I'm telling you. Okay, now we come to uh, present perfect tense. Okay, so there is a confusion. There is a confusion. People, they say, why can't we use simple present? Yeah. And why we are using present perfect tense? What is the difference between uh, both tenses? Ma'am, in present perfect tense, this is the complete work. Like if a action is happened, so this sentence we include in present perfect only. But in present indefinite, it's no, never showing that it's a, it's a sentence. Then work is completed. It's not showing there. Yes. So I just uh, rephrase this one. As you just mentioned, that uh, simple present means 
past sorry simple uh, past means that action has started and finish already gone yeah i called you i called you finish okay so i say i i, I had my dinner or i would say i read this book yes so finish i read it and if i say that um, yes um, uh, for that if you lost your key yeah if you lost your key and if you say that i lost my key yes it means you lost it ages ago you don't really have it now yes finish there is no key anymore okay if you if you are standing out of your door outside your door and you say i have lost my key yeah so what this mean it means like you just recently lost it and you are trying to find it out yeah right right, right. Yes. so this is the different that if you have done something and you asking i say oh i i put somewhere my key have you seen it yes so something like uh, yeah i just i just i have just put somewhere else i'm not able to find it means you are still working on that it just happened okay like uh, if you are sitting in the car and you are telling your wife is coming and you are going outside somewhere and you ask your wife have you shut the door means you coming in the car you make sure everything is closed everything done so you ask me now have you done have you done everything all the work have finished yes so it means recently this accident happened all right so we move to which one which one you would like to know about remember in present in the in present perfect here are some words i heard that these words comes in present perfect only like yet recently so far ever these words come in the present perfect only so far ever um Recently, make sentences. Yes. Make sentences. Make sentences. Okay. Have you ever visited Haryana? So ever, mm -hmm. every yes. time seen present yes. perfectly. And recently, yes. I have visited Haryana. Recently, yes. I talked to you. And yes. yet, we uh, always we use in negative sentences. Yes. Yes. I have. Okay. I have. Yet, we uh, say every time we use in negative sentences only. Yes. We can't. I have this. I haven't finished yet. Yeah, that's true. I haven't finished yet. I haven't seen that movie yet. Yes. Okay. And yeah. I just want to tell you because sometimes we, uh, what we do, we put uh, I and G with some of the words, but there are some static words. We don't put I and G. We don't do anything. We don't do any change. Do you know those words? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Like first is no. no have recognize and they own belong and they, here are many word ma'am here are many word yeah. not only Because what learners uh, make mistakes when they form some sentences they say i am angry with you <laughs> do you think this sentence is correct i am angry with you i agree with you i think it's i agree with you we don't I need agree. so there is no need am so usually learners they make this mistake they say i am angry with you and also uh, i am believe i am be uh, believing you are believed whatever so believe. believe is also the uh, static verb we cannot do any change okay i believe it yes so we say i believe it i know it yeah so these are couple of the verb we cannot make any change so we need to just use as it is Okay, so usually when we follow the rules, we thinking okay, this is also verb, and we need to put ing, we need to make some change, we put is are am, so we do that. So we need to do that. And whenever you agree with something, you don't usually people say, I am agree with you. So it's not like that. I agree with you. And I also heard whenever I ask uh, um, some learners tell something about you, they say okay, this day I am living in Haryana. So do you think this is a correct sentence? No, ma'am. We we can't this static verb. So I live in Haryana. Yeah, and I. I'm living in Haryana means like uh, we need to because this is the regular routine and this is uh, happening, yeah. Right? So we need instead of say I am living in Haryana, say yeah I live in Haryana. I live in Haryana. Yeah, not I am living in Haryana. It 
yeah it, it is wrong it uh, usually pe uh, people use that but it is wrong we uh, supposed to use i live in haryana these days yeah not i am leaving there i live there yes main wahan rehta hu main wahan reh raha hu no main wahan rehta hu hai na aajkal main haryana mein rehta hu hai na so we just use that way so do you have any other questions or anything would you would you like to ask and here are means some exceptions like have have means right means hona so whenever we have this meaning we can't use this verb in a continuous tense but if this word have different meaning so we can use in a present continuous i am having my dinner yes having, i am yes you can use in khana yes so here can, also you can use that one yes that's correct okay any other thing would you like to ask in relation to uh, tenses or something else okay till now we have talked for more than 20 minutes and we did not cover the at least present tense so here are many things remaining no so, no you can ask doesn't matter we can cut some uh, of the extra part okay right now we will discuss on present continuous tense and in future we will discuss on another thing because in this video at least we can cover present tense okay then that's good i just want to tell you quickly for the future simple because we finish all this time so simple future you know already that that things we will do in the future okay so we use we we and uh, will and shall according to that you know the rule and also if if i want to tell you jab aap mujhe phone karoge na tab tak main khana kha chuki hongi जब तक आप टेक अवे लाओगे ना खाना तब तक मैं खा चुकी होंगी हाउ यू से दिस सेंटेंस इन फ्यूचर ओके मैम गिव मी वन सेंटेंस इन हिंदी आफ्टर दैट आई विल ट्रांसलेट हां तो अगर आपको uh, कोई बोलता है कि जब तक आप घर आओगे मैं खा मैं खा चुकी होंगी या मैं सो चुकी होंगी I have been slept. I have. Okay, I have slept. Ma'am, here is the rule. Like here are two actions that are happening in future only. But first actions we will complete first. So we will use simple present, and this second we use simple future. Like if I come, I will meet you. First action, if I come, I will meet you. No, I will meet you. मैं इसे पूछू कि जब आप आओगे तब तक मैं सो चुकी होंगी बाय द टाइम यू कम होम आई विल हैव स्लेप्ट ओके यस विल हैव स्लेप्ट यस सो वी यूज दैट वन सो दिस इज कॉल्ड अ फ्यूचर परफेक्ट टेंस ओके मैम ओके है ना ओके सो ऑल गुड Yes, there are some confusion, so we need to make sure that if you are learning English, we need to just focus a little bit more uh, on grammar because tenses are really very important. If we we need to know basic tenses which we really use for our conversational, uh, you know, when we uh, not video when we have a conversation with other people, we make sure that it is using in conversational English. So we use that. We need to make sure that our knowledge is very firm and we have really very a great knowledge uh, so that way we will be able to form these sentences very well uh, um, and yeah there is a part of a uh, 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 preposition and some other things we have to concentrate on that but if we are making some sentences wrongly like if we are thinking okay what we have to say if we sometimes because we use we usually use this sentence okay by the time you aap aoge mai mera kaam khatam ho chuka hoga hai na to some hota na office mein bhi aap kahoge jab tak kab aoge tum tum मैं तो खा चुका होऊंगा तब तक तब आओगे तो है ना सो वी यूज दिस सेंटेंस मोर ऑफन एज वेल सो यूजुअली लर्नर्स दे इग्नोर दिस वन बट इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वी यूज लिटिल बिट फ्यूचर इन दिस दिस वन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट व्हिच आई जस्ट मेंशनड हियर सो वी नो ओके वी विल गो देयर वी डू दिस वी विल गो देयर वी कैन यूज आई एम गोइंग देयर सो 
we can form this in that way as well okay i'm about to finish my work or this and that we can just do that but like if you are talking about okay jab aap ye karoge mera ye ho chuka hoga so you have to make sure that you concentrate a little bit more on this tense because this is very useful and we really use in our conversation so yes all good and uh, yeah i think all good you done good job <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Okay, Vishal. Nice talking with you, and hopefully we will catch soon again. Yes, ma'am. Sure, ma'am. Thank you so much, ma'am. It was great talking to you, and we're nice talking to you again. Yeah. Bye bye. Happy learning. Thank you, ma'am. Have a good day.